In the business world, in my experience, challenges come in two flavors, puzzles and paradoxes. They both can present themselves as problems. Puzzles fall into the realm of what accounting software should we use, or should we hire James or Harold? They're solvable using research, measuring strengths and weaknesses, and choosing. Paradoxes, on the other hand, are not as simple, one-dimensional, or straightforward. They can be complex, messy, and usually have more than one right answer. They're defined by having multiple alternatives that will never be fully resolved. Now, some regular paradoxes faced in the business world revolve around dichotomies like long-term versus short-term goals, profit margins versus market share, or growth versus profitability. Some have three, four, or more dimensions, and leaning on one can negatively affect others. But not only businesses face puzzles and paradoxes, individuals face them all the time. I do my best to solve puzzles. I struggle to manage paradoxes. Sometimes I'm challenged to actually perceive the difference, and so struggle goes on and on and on. You see, sometimes I'm tempted to think I can resolve paradoxes, come up with a concrete answer in order to set it aside and get it off my mind. I like to wrap things up in nice, neat little packages and move on. Problems in the form of paradoxes, however, don't seem to lend themselves to my wishes. I know folks who routinely believe they resolve paradoxes. Their knower-judger has a prepared answer for any situation. And hence, when the data shifts, they can get frustrated, upset, angry, or even worse. If I'm present enough to recognize the difference, I can let my knower-judger need to resolve go and engage in managing the paradox. Managing in this case means to me monitoring and adjusting my solution based on the current data. The paradox doesn't go away. It remains a part of my life, and, and how I manage it becomes a contributor to the quality of that life. And that data, that data can change day to day, I suppose even minute by minute. I'm reminded, and will paraphrase, the well-known serenity prayer. God grant me an accurate knower judger to resolve my puzzles. The clarity to manage my paradoxes, and the presence to recognize the difference. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.